Good afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to show you our creature editor. And I'm going to quickly load up one of the creatures we have. You should note that our creatures are uh, quite small, like they fit inside a PNG file. Um, so they're in the order of kilobytes. So this creature is called Group. He has no legs. Um, and whoever authored him already selected a paint script for him, as shown here. And what I'm going to do is change the paint on him using our one-click paint theme selection tool here. So this is for people who just want to quickly slap something on or just you know, want their creature to, to look good really quickly. Um, and what's happening here is, is when you select a paint theme, it's actually going, it's running the effect script and, and splatting down all those textures um, as the particles run along the surface of, of the creature. But the way these themes actually work are they're composed of a base code and a detail. Um, and, and we l let you customize those individually as well. And of course, you can uh, parameterize all of this with, uh, just with color as well. Um, so here's some codes. UI seems a little off. See, I can change this guy's color. And the details. Now, the the problem to solve here is that the creature can have any morphology. Like, I can uh, totally manipulate this creature and add, for example, legs on him. Um, and the paint script should still do the right thing. So just put some hands on him as well. So here, the form of the creature has completely changed now, uh, but the paint script still do, does the right thing. And the way it does it is uh, the artist who authors these effect scripts gets const context information about, say, the spine of the creature and conversely the underbelly, like you're seeing here, and things like the knees and the limbs and where the limbs join with the, with the skin. The other thing to note is that the parts like the mouth have artist, artist uh, created textures already on them, like the teeth, etc., and the eye. Um, and the artists also get to select how these blend with the underlying paint script. So, for example, if I plop down one of these detailed parts that show it quite well. Let's see if I can scale that up. So you can see how it's, it's taking that sort of green color from the underlying, underlying base paint script, but the color on top is something that the artist selected and it continues to have. And finally, when you take this creature out into the game and he's rendering with the rest of the stuff in the game, we sort of bake that texture out and uh, this is the creature that you will see in game fully animated, etc. cetera. Um, another feature that was actually requested by the design was something we call identity colors. So here I'm just cycling through the different identity colors that you can apply. And that is also something that the, the paint script system goes and lays down into a certain channel. And what you can do with identities is differentiate creatures, uh, such as NPC creatures or creatures belonging to different civilization, but to the same species. Um, so now I'm going to quickly pop into our building editor and show you 